I'd like to welcome all you folks to Livermore Jazz Society HQ. Uh, I'm Tom Reynolds, founder, president, and today I'm very excited to um, present the uh, Luis Peralta Trio. Um, he, this is a real treat. Um, he's got a reach of history that is just amazing. I think he, in my mind, he reaches back across 100 years of jazz piano. So it's pretty cool, pretty exciting. Um, anyway, um, we, um, we operate uh, exclusively through donations. So uh, we really need your support to exist. And uh, we have uh, significant expenses um, among them. <laughs> The fact that we have a uh, we have a guaranteed fair w wage policy that we apply uniformly, and that's that results in one of our largest expenses because we pay all the performers fairly, every occasion, no exceptions. Another expense is uh, recently uh, occurred is that we have, you know, unexpected insurance uh, premiums, things like that that we need to continue to operate. So I beseech all of you who are here or or listening remotely to please donate if you're able to and uh, if you're not able to don't worry about it enjoy the music thanks a lot
Standard <clears throat> by Frank Loser called If I Were a Bell. Um, give it up for beautiful Ben Esposito on the drums. <laughs> beautiful Brian Juarez on the bass. <laughs> give it up for beautiful Luis Peralta on the piano. <laughs> These guys are some of my best friends, and they just so happen to be some of the best in the area. So how lucky am I to play with them? Um, ben is a young man hailing from Alameda. <laughs> He's played with luminary musicians such as Greg Ward. And, uh, right? Yeah. He, uh, we went kind of knew, knew each other through high school, and Brian, it's a little bit older than us, but uh, have we all have the same mentors around here. Yeah. And we're going to continue with we're going to continue with number three by Lawrence Williams.
Was uh, we pl- that was four and one by Thelonious Monk. It's a goofy, silly tune. Um, and um, so Ben, this cat on the drums, is my best friend in the whole world. So I just wanted to say that it's a pleasure always playing with him. And he's the real deal, guys. Okay. Um, we got some big, we got some big things in the works. Okay. Me and him. Just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna let it. I don't wanna say yet. It's <laughs> unconfirmed. Don't tell him. But uh, yeah, we're making big moves. So um, w- we um, want to invite someone. A little less special. <laughs> I mean, a little more special. Danielle to sing a beautiful ballad. Oh, 
The very thought of you makes my heart sing Like an April breeze on the wings of spring And you appear in all your splendor The shadows fall and spread their mystic charms in the hush of night while you're in my arms. I feel your lips so warm and tender. heaven a heaven that I've never known the blush on your cheek whenever I speak tells me that you Fill my eager heart with such desire Every kiss you give sets my soul on fire I give myself in sweet surrender
The touch of your hand is like heaven A heaven that I've never known The blush on your cheek Whenever I speak Tells me that you Fill my eager heart with such desire Every kiss you give sets my soul on fire I give myself in sweet surrender Danielle Perez is also my best friend in the world, and we met at LPC, and this is actually really our first time playing together, <laughs> I think. We've played like little, we'll, we'll we be in a practice room like, oh, you know this one? And we'll play it, and then we'll be like, oh, you know this one? This one's really good. And then we like, so I don't think we've ever made it through a full song together. Now that I think about it. Um, yes, this is the first time. I hope it was good. <laughs> hope it was alright. Um, we're gonna probably play for this first set, and we're probably gonna play two more. Um, and we're gonna play some Cedar Walton. Begrudgingly. Begrudgingly. I just learned this song.
is on the bass. Woo. Ben Esposito on the drums. Woo. Luis Peralta on the piano. Woo. We're going to play one more set of music after this, after a short break. Thank you for coming. Thank you to Tom. Thank you, Delivermore Jazz Society. Suggested donation to keep this place going. It's a wonderful place. Beautiful piano. We'll see you in a second. Welcome to the second set. This is where things get serious. <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna play a little request from the audience. Actually, someone requested this. This is Body and Soul, <laughs> an old standard by. Um, Johnny Green. Johnny Green. Fra even maybe even Frankie wrote that song, <laughs> for all I know. There's a Johnny Green standard. Thank you. 
was um, Body and Soul by Johnny Green. And then Seren right? Serenity. Serenity by Joe Henderson. And then... Did we do one in between that? Oh, and then we did a blues written by Thelonious Monk that I just learned this morning today. It's called Blues Five Spot because he wrote it while he's playing a run at the Five Spot in New York. And then we played Star Eyes and that was written by... I know who it was written by, but I'm forgetting. That's where he went to school. Chicago? What? Gene DePaul. Gene DePaul. Say I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, the other name, what's the other name on that? You, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, I guess Gene Soul DePaul wrote it. Sole author of this great song. Um, has some, uh, has some, uh, some, uh, Indian influence on that one has some some of that some of that flavor. Um, it was a great uh, Cannonball Adderley record where he plays that, and Nat Nat you heard that one? Nat goes. <laughs> you heard that one? No. So bad. <laughs> With the yeah, yeah. I'll show you. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play I'm gonna play another one for you. Is there an audience request? <coughs> Almost like being in love. Ooh. Is it, is that what you're gonna say? You know? What what is your request? Okay. Mm. Almost like being in love. Hmm.
You almost got me. You almost got me. I, I, I figured it out, though. I remembered it. That was, who's that by? Don't tell me. Is it a... Uh, uh, they're all from musicals. The last nine of them were from musicals. Okay. This one was... Uh, who is it by? Frank Lo Oh, Frederick, Frederick Lowe. Lowe. Frederick Lowe. Okay. It's a name you don't hear very often. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for calling that one on me. I'm going to start playing that. So I like it. I like how it turned out. It's a lot of good, it's a lot of good uh, changes you could put on there. There's a great... Uh, you don't want to hear about, about no music theory. You don't hear about that. Uh, you want to do um, Thank you. 
Evidence by Thelonious Monk. In our last tune of the day. It's gonna be... Who said that? Who said that? <laughs> our last tune of the day is gonna, is gonna be... I just didn't know if I heard that. I didn't know if that was actually... Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a ballad. We're gonna end it with a ballad. See, most people they think you gotta go out with a bang, but I say you gotta go out <laughs> with a whimper, with a whimper <laughs> and with a groan, a whimper and a groan. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, "Darn That Dream" by Jimmy Van Heusen. I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you what this song is about. The lyrics are like, darn that dream, I dream each night where you say you love me and you hold me tight. Right? And then it's like, you're out of sight. I wake up and you're out of sight, darn that dream. And then the bridge talks about like, I forget, but it's like you, <laughs> it's like you, you are, you, I dream about you, but then I wake up and you're not there, and it's it's very sad. <laughs> Here we go.
Let's give it up for the Luis Peralta Trio. Yeah. I have to say that I have never heard a pianist as young as Luis with as much stylistic reach. And I'm, you know, comparing him against some pretty heavyweights, so there's something about that. Anyway, um, we really appreciate you folks turning out and all those folks who are listening online. Um, once again, we, um, we are dedicated to certain things like a guaranteed fair wage, and we have numerous expenses such as insurance. We, we really need your support to continue operating. Uh, so I beseech all of you, either here in person or remote, if you're able to donate, please donate. We're thrilled to receive any donation in any denomination. Thank you very much. Just before I forget, um, a word about the piano. It's a 1927 New York Steinway. And a couple of years ago, we went out to New York, and actually Pinebrook, New Jersey, to, uh, to pick it up from a great piano restoration company out there that has hired six or seven Steinway master craftsmen to work for their shop. Anyway, so it's great to see Luis and other players uh, making use of it. And you know, catch. Uh, make sure to catch Luis. I mean, you can remember that you were here and you heard him first before he's you know headlining at the Village Vanguard or you know Birdland or you know Dizzy's or whatever. <laughs> 